Let's take a look at the interior cabin features and the cockpit and its equipment. Welcome aboard. You can see to the right that we have a heated, pressurized baggage compartment. We've got a flushing potty. As you move inside the club forward, you can see that we've got a four-place club. The seat to your right is the traditional boss's chair. It's equipped with a air phone as well as a cabin climate control system. We've got executive desks for the club and forward of that the refreshment center. It includes a stereo and XM radio, iPod, it's got coffee maker, hot water for making soups, things like that, plenty of storage, a two-place couch. This two-place couch and this left forward club seat can be removed and replaced with a bed for either patient transport or just camping out. Let's take a look at the cockpit. This is a fairly traditional MU2 cockpit setup. Your engine instruments to the left of the center avionics stack, torque gauges, EGT, fuel flow, RPMs, oil temp, 530 and a 430 in the stack, both with WAS. That's a Primus 400 SL color radar. It's a great unit, it's an analog unit, and most MU2 operators keep that unit in place for as long as it operates, even at the expense of not having an integrated MFD because it's a high-powered, high-resolution radar. We have dual Collins Proline transponders, Collins Proline ADF. Uh, to the right of the ADF, we have a DME unit. And we have a uh, Sperry SPZ 500 autopilot flight director system with altitude pre-select, as well as the Collins radar altimeter. So that's a little bit about the cabin and cockpit avionics. Let's see if we can get her started up. We'll do a short field takeoff out of Mountain Air and head for home where I'll try to demonstrate something that looks like a short field landing. 